Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to Reseller Toolkit. So in today's review, we are gonna be looking at this Helix Postal Charge Template. And as you can see, here it is in its sleeve that it comes in. So let's just have a very quick look at it inside the sleeve before we get into the meat of this review. So you can see here, it's a large letter and letter size guide, and it also has these kind of handy points at the edges here, which I will explain what they do in more detail later on in the review. As you can see on the front here, it says Helix Postal Charge Template. And if we actually remove this, we can see that there's some information on the back. So I'll just flip this around for you and there you go, you should be able to see that information there. It's just telling you how to use it and there's a few other little bits and bobs of information. So if you'd like to read that information in full, please do pause the video now. But with that being said, let's get this out of the packet and let's have a look at it in further detail. So here is the template outside of its packaging. And the first thing I noticed was the quality of the item. For £5.59, it is a fairly well-constructed little template. We can see that there's a little bit of give there in the plastic, as you would kind of expect with any plastic item of this nature. The printing on it is quite nice. Obviously, it's quite clear, which is always good for when you're reading these things off. Now, that will probably fade over time. A lot of these large letter size guides that I've had the uh, printing does fade over time but as long as you keep it in fairly decent condition and obviously kept keep it well stored then the printing should remain fairly okay um, so essentially I've got a couple of props just to help us out uh, with this sort of test now there's nothing in these uh, jiffy bags or this uh, letter here but if you were to imagine, let's say, that there was some sort of letter in here, all we want to do is simply slip it through the letter part of the size guide. Uh, and this is just going to go off the depth of the item. So obviously you want to make sure that it is no deeper than this kind of guide here. And you want to just make sure that you're dropping it through like that and it will go through. Now you can push it a little bit so for example if this was a little bit wider and it would only just go through you can give it a very light push but don't try and force it through because basically you'll just want to obviously send that as a large letter the post office may not accept it if you're really trying to force it through and it's only just gone through for you so obviously you want there to be a little bit of give there and to be able to obviously get it through fairly nicely without a lot of friction uh, and then similar with a jiffy bag here so obviously this is gonna come in as a large letter because you can see there it doesn't fit through the letter uh, size. So what we're gonna do is obviously just put that through there. Imagine if there was something larger in this uh, jiffy bag here, you could imagine that it might not go through or you might be sort of forcing it a little bit. As I say, if you're just lightly for forcing it and it can go through, then you should be okay. But if you are actually really pushing it through and it's only just going through the post office may not like that so much or may not accept it as a large letter but also what is also very handy with this size guide and i'll just move this over a little bit is that you can obviously make sure that the length is okay on these items as well so i'm just going to put these there like that so as you can see this letter here is just about coming in at the right length. Actually, it's the other side there, isn't it? So that's just coming in around the right length. So obviously, if this letter was wider than this here, than this here, it, let's say it was over here, then obviously that wouldn't be classed as a letter. And if this jiffy bag was wider than this section over here, then obviously that wouldn't go as a large letter. So that's something to remember as well. But when you are buying your letters or when you're buying your jiffy bags, they should specify all the dimensions of them. And therefore you will know that you are buying um, something that will go as a large letter or something that will go as a letter. So essentially that's about it. I mean, there's not really much else to uh, talk about on this review. I just want to flip this around. Obviously there's nothing on the back there, but I just wanted to give you a quick shot of the back as well. Um, so it's quite a nice item, quite handy to have. And, uh, you know, you can store it quite well. You could store it maybe in a little desk tidy or something like that. Um, you could have it in sort of a packaging area. Maybe you're packaging some eBay parcels or Amazon parcels. You can then obviously have it somewhere like that. So then it is to hand. But yeah, quite a nice looking little item. As I've mentioned, the link will be below if you would like to buy this item. Um, and as I say, I may review some of the cheaper options in due course as well on this series. So I will leave it there for this re review guys thank you very much for joining me and i will see you in the next one so i will see you very soon guys